Welcome to the Ontario Crop Protection Hub. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find specific product rates and product specific comments based on the pest that you want to control. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find specific rate information for products registered on apples bearing. There are a number of other products and a number of other crops listed in this application, and you can find them by using these various control searches here. So you'll see that we have fruit crops, tree nut, ginseng, field crops, vegetables so far. We'll always be adding new crops as well. But again, let's just use apples bearing as the example for this. So let's click on fruit crop protection. When I click there, we'll see that it provides me with this search bar here. So to use this search bar, you just click right on the search bar. And I'm gonna choose apples bearing. So you can see, obviously, because it's an A and these are in alphabetical order, it appears at the top of the list. What you could do, so let's just imagine it was a different crop that wasn't showing up. You can either scroll through the list to find a different crop, or you can actually just type in the search bar. So let's type apples. We know we want apples bearing, so I'm going to click on apples bearing. Next, it'll bring me to the growth stage selection. So here I'm again going to click in the search bar and you're going to select a growth stage. So this is assuming you know which, with growth, which growth stage you're at. You can scroll down the list and you can select a growth stage. Or again, let's just say that I know I want to um, choose petal fall. I'm going to type petal in this search bar and it'll give me my options here. So let's choose this one first summer spray, seven to 14 days after petal fall and it'll bring up 92 products. So here I'm looking for specific rate and comment information based on pests that I wanna control. So let's just imagine that you knew the product that you wanted to use. Um, so in this case, let's just say that you knew you wanted to use a Provia top. The way you would find that information is you would select view details and it will bring up all of the rate and comment information for any pest that is registered at that growth stage for apples bearing. So you'll see here, it'll always remind you where you're at in terms of the crop you've selected and the growth stage. And then it'll show you all of the different pests. So there will be different rates and comment information. Occasionally there will be similar rate and comment information depending on the pest. But the reason that these are all closed is so that you don't get confused with which rate or comment you're looking at if there are multiple pests. So here, let's just imagine that you knew that you wanted to use this product for scab. What you're going to do is actually just click here on scab rate information and it will open up this information. So you can see here there's some general comments. There's the product rate here and then there's some product specific comments. If you're going to be using this product on multiple different pests, you'll want to make sure that you actually check the rate and comment information for those different pests. So let's close this scab rate information. We're just going to click on it again. And let's say that you also wanted to apply it for powdery mildew. So let's click on powdery mildew. You'll see that the rate is different here. And then there's also different comments and product specific comments. So it's always important to make sure that you're checking all of the different comments and all of the different rates. So to close it, I'll just click that again. To close this window, we can either click the close with an X in the top right hand corner, or we can just click off of here. Either one is fine. There is also the option if you did want to print the information that you could click on this print view button. And what it would do if you print it, clicked on this print view button, is it would actually automatically open up all of these tabs so you wouldn't have to click them over manually. I can just show how that would work by clicking here. So you'll see it automatically brings this window open. It's prompting me to create a PDF. You could just change that to a printer. I'm just going to close that and I'll show you what I meant by it opening the tabs. So here you'll see that it opened up all of the different tabs with rate information. So if you did wanna print this information or save it as a PDF, it actually has all of that open for you. You don't already need to click all of those open. Let's just exit out of there. So again, I'm just gonna close this. So we're back to this screen here. 
Next, what I'm going to show you is that if you're dealing with multiple pests or if you're dealing with a single pest, how you would actually narrow that down. So the previous example I showed was just if you knew which product you wanted to use at that growth stage for that crop. Next, it's if there was a specific pest that you wanted to manage. So let's put in scab into this little pest search here on the right hand side. I'm going to click. And again, you can just scroll down this list or you can actually just type. So let's just type in scab. I'm going to click on scab. And you'll see where before it showed me that there were 92 products available. Now it's showing me that there are only 21 products available for scab. So again, Aprovia Top is an option there. It'll show you a number of different options and automatically they're sorted by chemical group. Um, but you, there are different options for how you could sort these. So you could sort um, by toxicity to honeybees and you can find that information at the top of the card. And then you can also sort by match pests, but I'll show that in a second because it's a bit of a different sorting option. But here you'll see that, let's just click back into Aprovia Top under view details. Here you'll see that now it's only going to show you the scab rate information. So before what it showed you was the rate information for all of the pests um, that are listed on this product label. But here, let's just say you knew that you were only dealing with scab, you didn't want to have the information for all of those other pests. When you click that open, you'll only get this scab information here. So it is worth narrowing down if you know what you're dealing with. Again, once you find this information, you could save it as a PDF or you could decide to print it. And then when you want to exit out, you can just click close or click on the white space. So let's imagine that you wanted to manage multiple pests. You can actually do this with this tool. So here we already have scab selected. Um, if you didn't want to use scab anymore in your search criteria, you could just click this little X or you could click this little trash can here. So let's click X, going to get rid of scab. Let's choose multiple pests. So we're going to choose black rot. I'm just going to type fly spec. And then we're also going to choose scab. So when I choose those multiple pests, it's going to show me products that are registered or where it has one of those pests listed. It's not going to show me products that are only listed for all of those pests. So what we're going to do is this is where we're going to use the sort. So you'll see on each product card, it does show me which pest is listed for that product. What we can do, though, is we can use the sort and we're going to click on match selected pests. So you'll see here that what that's doing is it is pushing the products that match all three pests or match the most amount of pests up to the top and pushing the ones that match the least amount of pests to the bottom. It will only ever show you products that at least have one of the pests listed, but you'll see that if I scroll to the bottom, the ones that are only registered on one pest are at the bottom. So we'll scroll back up, just watch your eyes. Up at the top here, you'll see that all of these products are have all of all three of these pests listed. So let's just say here you wanted to look for the information, the rate information and comments. Again, you would click on view details. It would only show you those three pests that you're trying to manage. And again, you can just click these open to find that information and then click them shut. 